If you ever need to repair anything with solder, uh, you might know a lot about solder braid. It's this little copper stuff that wicks solder away from something. And for my whole lifetime, since I was a kid when my dad first taught me how to solder, I've been using this. If you need to remove something from a circuit board or if you need to remove a through-hole component or something, you stick this down there, you heat it up, it gets really annoying, and uh, a lot of times it'll stick to it. You might, might need to use extra flux, just not fun. My dad and I are repairing his first computer, a 1979, I think, uh, Apple II. And we had to remove a ton of components and we're recapping it and taking off tons of caps. Now, this is not something, this, this video is not something for someone who's like just getting into soldering. If you're just getting into soldering, and yes, it's solder in America, it's not solder. Anyway, uh, if you're just getting into it, you get some solder braid, you get a soldering iron and you start doing stuff. Um, and you can use leaded solder or lead-free solder, it doesn't matter. Just get started and start experimenting, see how you accidentally break things and then see how you can fix them afterwards. But for somebody who's been doing it a lot, uh, there's a tool that I had always seen in other YouTube videos from like Action Retro and This Does Not Compute and Mac 84 and all these things. And uh, I saw it and I'm like, there's no way it's that good. There's no way it's that easy to actually desolder things versus WIC, which is what I've always used. And they use something like this, the Heiko FR301, I believe this is. Yes, FR301. And there's other things like it. This is called a solder sucker or desoldering tool type thing. And I also have a manual one, which you pull down and you kind of heat something up and then you press this button and it sucks up the solder into there. These work okay. This one has a silicone tip and uh, it, it works okay, but it's really annoying because while you're doing this, if you have like, let's say a GPIO header that has 40 pins on it, you gotta do this, heat it up, press the button, not everything comes out, do it again, heat it up, press the button, and it, it just takes forever. And at the end of that, your hand is feeling mighty annoyed. And they also make ones with little hand pumps that you pump on the side, but those, it's just not that fun. And so solder braid is what I usually use if I'm only doing a few joints. But when we were doing this, I was like, dad, this is gonna take forever. So we ordered this thing. I ordered this thing because I was like, I don't want my dad to sit here for multiple hours just desoldering components. And this thing is life-changing for that. This is not gonna do everything under the sun, but if you need to desolder, especially through hole components, but even other components, it's amazing. There's a few notes about this. One, expensive, 300 bucks for this kit, which comes with cleaning tools, a case, and the stand, which honestly is not a very good stand, but it's, it's a stand. It protects your desk, I guess. That's about all I can say about it. It also has a couple extra filters and a little catcher for the solder that goes into this part. Now this is one of the coolest things about this particular gun. To clean it, you stick a little thing through the end here and you, you, know, you tin the tip a little bit because this gets really hot. And then you take this part out by just pulling that back. And this is the little capsule where all the solder goes that it sucks out. You just pop off the filter thing and then dump it and you're done. It's, uh, it was honestly incredible how easy that was compared to my other desoldering tools. When you're finished, you just press this button and it's ready to go again. My dad took out, I don't know, 30 or so different caps and devices and we re rewired the switch on the power supply, all these different things. And this thing still looks brand new. It still works like brand new. And as long as you maintain it by cleaning it, I think that this is gonna last a very long time. Awesome tool. And if you are somebody that does need to desolder a lot of stuff, it is worth it. Uh, you know, the right tool for the right job. This is the right tool for desoldering lots and lots of things. Anyway, I wanted to make a quick video about it because there aren't a whole lot of videos just about this guy on the internet when I searched and some of them are like sponsored reviews and things and you know, it's, it's hard to trust those necessarily. Uh, but from somebody who paid their own money for it and needed it in a pinch, this is, this is an awesome tool. And uh, the other benefit of having a desoldering gun is now I have a soldering gun and a desoldering gun. So. I am building up a gun collection, but not the same type that most people would associate with gun collectors. Oh, and also, if you ever hear somebody saying it's their moo tool, it's because it makes this sound. All right, that's it for a Level 2 Jeff video. And uh, I'm gonna get back to all the other projects we have going on this week.